What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with another video. In today's video, we'll be demonstrating how to use facial recognition on the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3. Now, the nice thing about face recognition on the Z Fold 3 is you can use it on both the cover display and the main display. Now, once facial recognition is enabled on the Z Fold 3, you can use this feature to unlock your device or verify your identity in apps. Also, the good news is you can still use that side key for the fingerprint sensor in situations where you may be wearing a face covering. And there's also an additional feature called additional appearance for those who may be wearing makeup or may be growing facial hair. Now this video you're watching is featured on the Samsung Galaxy playlist so you can find information related to this topic quickly and easily. As always, we only feature products or services I buy, use, or am interested in. Now you can find the Z Fold 3 and related accessories at the Amazon storefront link in the description below. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So we'll start by swiping down from the top of the display once. Now in the top right hand corner, you're going to see a gear icon. That's going to be our settings and we're going to tap on that. Now this is going to open the settings page and we're going to scroll down until we see biometrics and security and tap on this option. Now this opens up a new page and we're going to look for our very first option here. It's going to be face recognition and we're going to tap on that. Now in order to access face recognition settings, we're going to have to enter our pen. Now, once you enter your pin, you're going to get a new page. It's going to give you a little bit more information about face recognition, and we're going to tap continue. Now, we're just going to take our phone and simply make sure that our face is in the center, and it's going to start registering our face automatically, and then it's going to save our face. Now, as you see, this opens up a new page once it's complete. Now, when it comes to this new page, it gives us two options for how face recognition is going to work. So you see that we have the slider here, and if the slider is gray, when we use face recognition, our device is going to unlock immediately, and it's going to return to the page that we were previously on. Now, if we change that slider to blue, the face recognition is going to recognize our face, but we're going to have to perform a swipe to unlock our device completely. Now for me, I want my device to unlock completely without having to do a swipe, so I'm going to change the slider to gray. Now, once you've chosen your setting, you can tap done. And then we have our next setting, which is additional appearance. And this is going to be helpful for someone who may wear makeup, glasses, or grow facial hair. So in order to access this feature, we're gonna tap on add alternative appearance to enhance recognition. And you can see this is going to open up the same page. It looks very similar to the one where we registered our face. And as long as we keep our face in the center, it's going to do what it needs to do and it's going to automatically complete and then return to the face recognition menu again. And then our last option is to remove face data. So you can see that's the first option here and we can tap on it. And then you can see we have a dialog box up here at the bottom of the page here. And it's just to verify that we want to remove our face data so we can tap on that. Now, as you can see, when you remove face data, you would have to register your face again, but also face unlock is turned off, obviously. So that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it and found it useful, please leave a like. If you're watching this on YouTube and have any questions or comments, as always, drop those down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Now, there are three ways you can support the content. The first way is to click on the Amazon storefront link in the description below. There you'll find items that I have bought or I'd like to buy and anything you buy from the storefront does support the content. The next way to support us is just by sharing this content with someone who might enjoy it or find it useful. And the last way to show your support is just by clicking the subscribe button. Now liking and subscribing are important because those are ways to vote on if you like the content. Liking and subscribing are also important for new viewers and listeners. If new viewers and listeners see likes and subscribers, they're going to think that the content is helpful, worth watching and listening to. So that is pretty much it. And until next time, Leon checking out.